Hello everyone! Today we're gonna do a makeup tutorial together. So this trend is like a month old. This is the Sugar Plum Fairy makeup trend that I've seen on TikTok for the past couple months. This is another trend that Hailey Bieber has come up with, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, this is the look. This is my take on it. I've just seen a couple of videos and I just kind of got, got the gist of it, kind of got the tones. And I just wanted to do my version of this makeup look. And we're just using no new makeup. I'm just using what I got. Grab your makeup if you want to do the look together. But yes, relax as always and enjoy the video. Okay, we're here with another makeup tutorial. So I'm going to put a lip oil on. I'm just going to use the e.l.f. lip oil in Rose Envy because my lips are dry. I really like these lip oils from e.l.f. They're a really, really good formula. I think I'm definitely going to get some more of these. I don't know whether to do the face first. I think I might just because there's not much to do on the eyes. Also grab a beverage. I actually have a drink today, so... Um, I did my brows. I just used the Nude Sticks brow gel. Let's do the face. So I'm gonna actually mist the face first to start off with. So the makeup look is very, well, it's supposed to be like sugar plum, which to me plummy is a bit more purple, but the look is very pink, but like a deeper pink, I think, from what I've seen anyway. So we're gonna go very dewy, but then just try and incorporate as much pink in as we can. So I'm just gonna use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist first. I don't know, this is so expired. Like, I went to New York, that's when I got this, because we didn't have Tatcha here in the UK at the time. And I got this from when I was in New York, and that was like, four years ago. Also, the mist on this is so bad. Like, look, that was probably like 25 pound. Yeah, this is definitely not a necessity. For primer, I'm going to take the Flower Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir. This is the perfect product to use for this look. So it does have glitter in it, just keep that in mind. For me, it doesn't bother me just because... Um, you know what, I think I'm actually going to apply it with a brush so I don't have glitter all over my hand. I'm going to drop it on my face as well. I would definitely always... That's why I don't do that. I'm just using a Spectrum brush, apply it. I want to apply the foundation and then see if I still actually like it because it's glittery glittery, like there is full on glitter just all over my face now so this will be kind of like another first impression but like a second impression. Taste has changed, I never used to mind it because I don't think you could see the glitter through when you have the foundation on because I mean I've never been one for having glitter all over my face but I don't know we'll see definitely if you have oily skin this is definitely it's it's an oil it, it's an oil oil kind of primer so yeah just keep that in mind if you are oily okay for foundation we're going to use one of my favorite foundations of hair on my face I'm going to go in with one of my favorite foundations this is the LYS triple fix serum foundation I really love this so I use the shade MG5. I think out of all my foundations, like this has definitely become one of my favourite foundations I think of all time. It's just so beautiful. I've used it so much this year. It will definitely be making an appearance in my yearly favourites. Yeah, I've really been loving this this year and you can get LYS on Cult Beauty if you're in the UK. I'm just using the Anissa uh, Pinnacle Foundation Brush. I actually can't wait to film my yearly favourites this year. I feel like I've got really good favourites. I feel like I've got some holy grails this year for sure. Without having a primer like the flower one that I used, the foundation is still very, very dewy. It just, it wears really, really well. And that's why I love it. And that's why I compare it to the House Labs one because it's wear time is really, really good. Speaking of House Labs, I'm gonna use the concealer. I do wonder, cause like Hailey Bieber like this year, she's like come up, well actually I don't know about previous years, but I've been keeping an eye this year for like makeup trend wise. She's come up with quite a few makeup trends like this year. Like I wonder like if she actually comes up with them or if it's like someone on her team. But I mean, they've, they've worked in the sense of going viral and just like everyone recreating them which to be fair I like this I like that she does this because it's nice just to see because like she creates this um 
look and then everyone goes to recreate it but like when you look on the for you page I just go down watching like so many people's like I'll watch hers to see like the kind of makeup that I need to use but I love watching other creators like do their version of it and it's just nice. I'm gonna go in with a cream bronzer. I might do a powder one over top after, I'm not really sure yet. I'm gonna use the MUA Makeup Academy. You know what, also, this brand for example, MUA or Me MUA Makeup Academy. I just always thought it was M MUA, right? But it's not if you think about it because it says MUA Makeup Academy. So it's Makeup Artist, Makeup Academy. In my head, I always thought they meant it in the sense of MUA is Makeup Academy. It's not, it's Makeup Artist, Makeup Academy. My mind was blown. I'm using their cream bronzer. You probably couldn't see that, probably wasn't in focus, but it's in the shade Caramel. I really like this. It's a really good cream bronzer. I'm just gonna use my e.l.f. brush as well, the Complexion Duo. Mix it up, keep some affordable products in here as well. That is also my other goal I think for the new year is to definitely go back to more drugstore makeup because I've definitely got carried away with a lot of high-end stuff for sure and you know I could save myself some money but I think I need to definitely go back to testing more drugstore things okay so that's just added like a little bit of color I'm still I think because of my tan can't see as well and then I'm just gonna pop this down here then this is the elf putty blush and this is like the older one from like when they first launched it and it doesn't have the shade name on it so i'm gonna have to leave it in the description box i don't know what the name of it is but it's this shade here it's one of the old ones like the matte ones i'm gonna use my real techniques 401 brush Ooh, not as pigmented the putty blush i definitely i think the formula maybe for the um, the dewy ones are better. The actual formula is feeling dry. I know it looks nice and dewy on the skin, but that's just the foundation and everything underneath. Over the nose, I think she went over the nose as well. I think we need to set. Also, why I literally never tried Coke Zero until yesterday. Never tried it until now because I'm not one for fizzy drinks really. I don't, I mean, I know they're terrible for you anyway, but I don't usually drink them. But I do love Coke. Coke is my favorite. Like, I like having it every now and then, but I just hate the feeling of sugar because I don't have much sugar in my diet anyway. And then when I have it, it's like too much. I can feel it on my teeth and I hate it. I tried Diet Coke, disgusting. I cannot with Diet Coke. So I just assumed that this, like Coke Zero, would be kind of the same and it just tastes gross. It tastes, to me, I can't taste the difference between this and normal Coke. Okay, let's set. So. The perfect powder I feel like is a pink loose powder for this makeup look. So any loose powder that you have that has that, like, that pinky tint to it will be perfect. I know Huda Beauty do a really good loose powder. I mean, I've heard good things about it. I haven't tried that one. I have, to be fair, this is the only pink powder I have, I think. I love this pink powder. Just, it's just one of my favorite loose powders in general. This is the Luna Beauty loose powder in pink and it comes with a powder puff in it. So I'm gonna, Make sure there's no creases. And it just blurs the skin. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed, I love it. I think I'm gonna move on to the eyes now and then we'll just finish off the rest of the face after. So I'm just gonna quickly do my eye primer. This is the Rare Beauty one. And then going to actually take a bit of the loose powder and just set down eye primer super 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 simple just grab a pink eyeshadow like a very soft pink i'm just going to use this one here this is the huda beauty nude medium palette i really love these mini palettes and i'm just gonna be really messy just put this all over the crease and kind of on the lid as well just really messy really just dragging that out that's pretty much it for shade you literally just need like one shade and then the sparkle is the main thing so I am quite sad because I didn't have the exact product that I wanted but Colourpop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Frog would be perfect for this look because all the makeup looks that I've seen so far doing this they have like a just like a glittery pink just on the lid I'm gonna use Ritz instead from Colourpop that's why I wanted to put the pink down so you kind of get the same effect I'm just gonna take my finger It's definitely one of the best. It's definitely one of my favorite things from Colourpop. Okay, 
Let's do some eyeliner. I'm just going to use my Rimmel Black Eyeliner just for the top tight line. I'm going to take Colourpop Sunny Veil for the lower lash. Curl the lashes. I'm going to use Rimmel Thrill Seeker Mascara. Look at that. Just to finish off the face, I just want to add like a little bit more of a glow and a little bit more colour. So I'm taking the Charlotte Tilbury, I think it's the Nude Gasm. Yeah, the Nude Gasm face palette. And I'm just going to use the blush, but then I'm going to mix in a bit of the highlight as well. I use a NYX combination actually. This is the NYX Line Loud Liner in Ambitious Statement. Like plummy pink. And then I'm going to use the fat oil in Supermodel. Oh my god, I love it. Alright, that is it. So this is my version of the Sugar Plum Fairy Makeup. Let me know what you think. And yeah, let me know what trend of yours has been your favourite this year. I think mine, probably latte makeup. And yeah, thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.